Hello, hello, hello. This is Shannon Creations coming at you. Um, originally I was gonna come on early, but I'm just now getting a little bit of downtime. So I figured I would come on and um you know, chat it up a little bit. Uh, I've been peeking in, you know, throughout the day on a lot of nonsense that's going on in these YouTube streets. Um, I seen the um, little bit of um, Roz and what she's got going on and um, a little bit of um, um, Bodacious Davids or whatever the lady's name is that um, ran over the guy. And is up on here trying to um, make it seem like the guy ran out into the street or walked out in front of her car. Anyway, um, before I get started with my content and um, my case study, allegedly, I want you guys to subscribe to my page and like and um, follow and, you know, um, just make sure you subscribe. Okay, so I'm I'm sitting up here and I'm looking at um a lot of the issues and stuff that's going on um on YouTube and it's just way out of hand, way out of hand. Um first of all, <laughs> I don't understand what the obsession is um with Latrice on Roz's end. I mean I, I know you guys have never met. You've never even, um, you've only laid eyes on her on this internet thing here. Um, you've never met her personally. So I don't understand why you're going so hard to just tear her down. Is it because of the money? Is the money that good? Let me know, honey, so I can find somebody to go in like that. Um but, I mean, back up a little bit. Like, you can't do nothing. I, you must sleep and dream about this girl. Um, like, I, I don't get it. You're just really out of control. And you need to um, back up and look at the situation and realize that um, you most definitely are doing too much. Um, you're on there, you're talking about her children, you're talking about her, you're, you're, I mean, you know you gotta be obsessed if you're watching her go to the bathroom. I mean, you need to really take a good look at your situation, cause it's most definitely something's not right. But anyway, um, I don't know, you know, you got a daughter that's a lawyer, she needs to consult with you about some of the stuff you're doing. It just, it can't be right. And it's not, it does sound like it's not healthy. Like, you to form the um, obsession with this girl, Latrice Allen. Um, and it just looks crazy. I mean, you don't know how ridiculous you're looking right now, honey. Um, you Somebody needs to sit you down and have a nice long talk with you um but well, that's it for you but anyway now on this do um bodacious david's lady you need to seek some help you have an alcohol drinking problem allegedly you um i don't even know what to say like it's so sad that you're drinking and your behavior almost cost somebody their life you should really feel some type of way you f you should feel like the dirt that's underneath your feet. And then for you to make it seem like they're going after him or they're going to press charges against him because he was intoxicated. He wasn't behind the wheel. You were behind the wheel. Okay? You were behind the wheel and you were drinking. He was drinking coming out of a restaurant, allegedly from what his, you said his girlfriend said. But you're actually on the internet trying to justify what happened. Talking about some Listerine. Lady, stop it. You are too old to be on here making this shit up. 
okay? They kept your car. You know why they kept your car? And I know, because I know people that work for insurance companies. They're going to redo the scene of the accident because you hit somebody. You actually hit somebody and caused bodily harm, and now that person is in the hospital fighting for their life. You better think about what you're on this internet saying. Because you're looking real guilty and real shady. But you're trying to say you weren't drinking. You were you was upset because of a dentist appointment. And you have been using Listerine. How old are you? 75, 80? This can't be your first go around with um, going to the dentist. So I don't get it. You, you, I mean, you better be careful. They got your car too. The reason they kept your car because it's a crime, part of a crime scene, and they're going to redo the scene and to figure out exactly what happened. Because you sit up there talking about, oh, and then you refuse the, the breathalyzer alcohol test. Why would you do that if you were innocent, if all you was doing was um, gargling with Listerine? You know why? Because you were drinking. You were putting down beers, and who else knows whether you were drinking, allegedly. So you need to get ready because you might, that birthday money, you probably should be saving that to get a lawyer to deal with that, not with what people are saying on the Internet. You worried about this other lady. Like, stop it. And one more thing. You calling um, Social Security and DCYF on this lady because she said a, swore, a swear to her grandchild. Honey, stop acting like you're innocent. Okay? Stop it. I can tell that you probably said a couple of things, a couple of bad words, probably a whole lot of bad words, allegedly, in your lifetime. So you 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 coming on the internet crying and trying to make people feel sorry for you. No, we figured out what the real deal is. Okay? We figured it out. There's probably even a police report. Somebody should get that police report. And bring it on here on the internet and, and read off somebody that's in the same city or state you're in, wherever you're at. I, don't, I haven't even looked that far because I'm not into, like, trying to find out where people are and what they do for work and all that type of stuff. But what I'm going to tell you is that you might need to sit down for a little bit and think about some of this shit you're on here saying. Because it's going to come back to bite you in your ass, girlfriend, Miss Bodacious David, whatever your name is. You better be careful. Because um, you hit somebody and then you tried to justify it and try to make it seem like the guy ran out in front of your car and this and that. And mm -hmm, yeah. So just beware. Get yourself together. If you need help. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of state facilities that you could check into to get some help for your drinking and your alcohol problem. Because you wake up in the morning with a can of beer. That's because you're an alcoholic, allegedly. Okay? So take the advice if you want to, but you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble if you don't get control of your life and that drinking, allegedly. All right, well, anyway, y'all have a good night. I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to, you know, go take my break. I'm kind of tired tonight. Been working since 7 o'clock. Um, but anyway, that's all I wanted to come on here and, you know, talk about. There's a whole lot of mess going on in these YouTube streets. Um, but anyway, um, y'all have a good night. Y'all stay safe. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, so that way I can be able to go live and, you know, mingle with you guys and, you know, we can chat it up and talk about different things and, you know, a couple of things I want to, um, show you guys, but I'm gonna wait till I can go live. So don't forget, subscribe, 
like, follow. Um, yeah, punch that like, hit that bell, whatever, however it goes, in that order. All right? Y'all have a good night. Bye.